What's up, everybody? As always, thank you for taking time out of your busy day to stop by Sub Talk Radio and listen to my latest review. So as you saw the title, I'm excited, okay? We're looking at the 5050 Protein by Apollon Nutrition. So let me get my disclaimers right out of the way, okay? As you, most of you know, the owner of Apollon is a good friend of mine, and I appreciate the hell out of him, okay? So first off, I paid for these. He's not sending them out for review for free, so don't even think about it. I was happy to support a smaller business and also just excited to try these, okay? Um, so in saying that, I'm going to leave my friendship hat at the door. I'm also going to leave my bias at the door. So let's get that out of the way, and I want to the review. So we've got the caramel macchiato, and we've got the peanut butter cookie, okay? Let's quickly analyze this, the caramel macchiato. When you open this up, the macchiato, the coffee, the mocha, whatever flavor it is, hits you hard, and it's awesome. It, it's awesome. Kind of waves through the air. Nice little kind of fresh pick-me-up. But when you mix it, I tasted more of the caramel. You definitely taste the hint of the macchiato, but I felt the caramel was a little bit stronger. But again, I loved it. A for uniqueness, okay? Caramel macchiato, I've not seen this in any other proteins. Maybe it exists, I just haven't seen it. So I give this a solid, solid nine. Mixed well in milk and water, and as you know with proteins, it tastes better in milk, whether it's almond, skim, oat milk, which is gross. But anyway, loved it. The peanut butter cookie, okay? This was a little mild for me. I am a peanut butter fiend, okay? Definitely flavorful, felt it was a little mild. So how do I overcome that? Want to amp it up? Throw in a scoop of peanut butter, or add some powdered peanut butter that you get in the jar. And boom! So without adding extra peanut butter or anything, I'd give this probably an 8.75. Not bad at all. These are also offered in chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, but I was excited to try unique flavors, creative flavors, okay? Let's look at the ingredient panel. I'll point out some highlights that, uh, that I really, really like. So each one is 28 grams, I'm sorry, 32 grams, 28 servings. You've got total fat of three grams, which is pretty much standard. You've got three grams of carbohydrates. Again, pretty standard. I've seen two to three. Protein, 24 grams, okay? But here's where, you know, I was really taken by because I didn't know this until I looked at the label. Apollo Nutrition prides itself on transparent labels on all their products. And what does that mean? Is you know exactly how much of every single ingredient you are getting in the product. Holds true for the protein as well. Not a lot of companies that are full transparent have fully transparent protein labels, okay? I wish it would be more common, but it's pretty much the norm. That's the way it goes. So anyway, if you look here, you've got whey protein isolate yielding 12 and a half grams of protein. And you've got micellular casein yielding 11 and a half grams of protein. Boom, full disclosure. Oh my God, why can't everybody else do that? So let's quickly understand the difference, the difference between the two, okay? Whey protein isolate is more of a fast-acting, rapidly digested protein, okay? It can last in the bloodstream anywhere from 60 to 90 minutes, depending on the amount. And also, what else are you taking this with? If it's just the shake itself, 90 minutes. If you have adding protein, I'm sorry, if you're adding peanut butter, or maybe having it with a meal, be a little bit longer, okay? So fast-acting where you've got casein, or casein, depending on where you're from, that could be anywhere between three, four, five hours. And people call that time released, okay? So you've got a good, consistent, higher level of all the essential and non-essential amino acids going through your system. That's awesome, okay? So for me, here's where these really, really, really shine, okay? I'm doing my best to eat better. I've lost 10 pounds in the last 10 weeks, a little off, but this, I'm knocking out all the nighttime sweets, the sugars, everything else. So I make a protein pudding slash protein sludge. Two scoops of protein, some almond milk just to thicken it up, a couple ounces, put it in the refrigerator, let it harden up, scoop or two of sugar-free, no-fat Cool Whip, and a couple of micro chocolate chips, okay? Awesome. I encourage you guys to try it. It's a very high-protein, low-carb, low fat, low sugar dessert. Just look at it. Look at it. Look at it. But it's awesome. 
absolutely awesome. And again, you take it before bed and it kind of gives you a good sustenance of protein throughout the night. That's if you subscribe to that. If you're trying to lose weight and really trying to trim down and stuff, maybe you just don't have anything before bedtime. But uh, for me, again, that kills my sweet tooth. You've got the creaminess of the Cool Whip as well as the protein. And of course, the chocolate chips, a little bit of crunch, kind of hitting all cylinders. I'm a little bit of foodie. So the price of these, okay, $49.99. Okay, some people might think that's high. I think that's right on target. High quality proteins, okay? But if you use my coupon code SUPTALK15, that brings it down to about 42 and change, and you're looking at about $1.50 a serving. Cannot go wrong with that at all. So anyway, guys, long story short, Apollo Nutrition, okay, full suite of products, aside from a sleep aid and a greens formula, which is very, very popular right now, you can find almost everything in the line, whether it's a thermogenic, a BCAA, you've got a, uh, a brand new multivitamin to take the market, you've also got the proteins, and there might be a couple other things that I'm missing as well, but pretty much everything for everybody. Um, the demographic, though, a little bit more of a hardcore, higher stim tolerance person, okay, so I want to put that out there. But if you're not a high stim person, you know, you got the BCAAs and you've got the protein. Again, can't go wrong. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, Robic, I appreciate our friendship. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Let me know if you tried these. Let me know what flavors you've tried. And as always, guys, thank you so much for supporting the brand. Have a great week. Stay positive. You know, we're still in COVID, but... Uh, the finish line is getting closer and closer in sight when things might be coming back to normal. Again, thank you so much. Have a great rest of the week.